We had a dream. Today, the dream became a reality. Today is a very exciting announcement because it's been about two and a half years in the making. Um, we've always had this plan that we'd like to have a Canadian Centre for Climate Change and Adaptation. And so we now are establishing at the University of Prince Edward Island uh, a world leader in helping uh, individuals, communities, um, provinces, countries uh, adapt to climate change. The new building will um, act as a classroom as well as a residence for the University of Prince Edward Island's new program. It's a Bachelor of Science in Climate Change and Adaptation, the first of its kind in the world, as well as some graduate programs and postgraduates and international researchers who are going to be able to focus on Prince Edward Island. So we're a lab of uh, students and researchers who uh, primarily do research in climate change adaptation and a lot of our projects have to do with uh, dealing with climate change impacts on Prince Edward Island. Uh, some of the research includes um, coastal erosion and modeling to see how our coastlines are changing. I'm focusing my research on helping potato producers adapt to climate change. Uh, potatoes don't like heat. They also don't like a lot of the impacts we're expecting our way. And so how do we help farmers navigate through that so we can still sustain our economy and their practices? St. Peter's is, is a wonderful community. Um, there's, a, there's a bay that has aquaculture, which is a really important uh, part of the Prince Edward Island economy. It's also a lot of, surrounded by a lot of potato fields. We are associated um, and are working hand in hand with the National Park at Greenwich, which has some very unique uh, biodiversity and ecosystems. Uh, that we want to track over time to see how they're going to be impacted by climate change. I really can't imagine the possibilities that could come with this, but so it's really exciting because climate change touches so many sectors that we'll get so much experience in um, so many ways where we can really experience um, working on adaptation with our hands.